Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we are breaking down players. We're taking a look at some swings that you guys send in. I'm able to help out and give virtual instruction here from, from afar. Uh, but we're also taking a look at some players and some prospects around the area and around the country. Um, but today we're actually going to look at a player. Um, we're going to break down his swing. Griffin Miles, he is uh, Kettle Moraine Lasers. Um, I believe that's the name of his team, actually. It is the, um, yeah, Kettle Moraine Junior Lasers. He plays for, he's 14 years old. Um, good looking player, athlete right here. Uh, organizes well in his swing with the, with the sequence and with how his body kind of moves and organizes. Um, but we're going to break that down real quick. We're going to take a look at one, one little piece of that swing, but we're also going to take a look at the whole thing and understand what he does really, really well. This kid is, is going to be good um, by the time he is a senior in high school. He's already looking like he's a very good player. But before we do that, I did want to mention that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate. My wife, Maggie, and her little brother, Ricky Kuiper, have teamed up and they're able to help out and handle all the real estate transactions that come their way. They do an exceptional job. Maggie and Maggie Rotino and Ricky Kuiper, the names for real estate in Southeastern Wisconsin. Channel is also brought to you by Lockdown Brewers podcast. Dom Catronio and I are handling all things brewers and breaking things down, all things brewers, five days a week. Um, now that the lockout is over and spring training is well underway and the season is right around the corner. So Dom Catronio and I are helping out and in, uh, in taking a look at um, all things brewers. So please tune into that, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit subscribe to this channel as well. Uh, helps out um, trying to do a video five days a week here and just kind of taking a look and, and seeing what we can do to just talk baseball and talk through some of the things that I'm able to look at and see with some of the players that I work with in the off season. And even, you know, when players send in videos like this, um, it's a good opportunity really just to learn the game. I've been in the game now professionally for, for two decades. And there's just so much about the game that I've learned just from listening and picking things up from other players and other coaches and stuff like that. So uh, it's, it's really, a valuable thing to uh, just listen and see if you can pick something up. Um, I always tell players that the players who just pay attention and focus and work hard at their craft are always going to be the best players. It doesn't matter where they start at currently, if they just pay attention and learn and really have that burning desire to get better at the game, they're always going to be better. And that's, that's just, it just seems it's how it works. Um, and so that's kind of how and why I have um, approached and how I've approached this channel, just to kind of give my insights on things. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, share the screen here in a second. I apologize here. I actually thought I downloaded this video of Griffin. So just give me one second. Let's launch the video, share the screen, and we're off and running here. The Griffin. You're going to find that he does a lot of things really well, very athletic swing. And that's what we want to understand about the baseball swing. It is an athletic move to and through the baseball. All right. Sharing screen now. Okay. All right. So let's start it over. So Griffin really good setup here. So what you want to take a look at in their setup and players setup is that you want to just tell them to get, a, you know, whatever's comfortable in terms of base. All right. So he's, he's going to do, he's going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. His hands are going to be up off of his shoulder. And, uh, and then that's totally fine. Little bend in the knee. You want to have a little bit of flexion and a little bit of bend at the waist. Um, that just allows you to, to eventually, once you get ready to start your swing, you're going to want to have to um, have some rooms for your hands to work. Okay. <clears throat> Again, if you think of the swing as an athletic move, your body will be put into positions to make that happen, to be able to throw the bat forward as, as 
most efficiently as possible, your body's going to be able to organize. And I use that word organize again and get into um, kind of a, a really good position to do that. It all starts from the ground up. All right. So he does a really good job. He gets back, little toe tap. And what he does that I love is you notice the inside, you notice the, um, this lower part of his leg, it never gets stacked straight up and down over this back foot. So what that does is creates a situation where all that pressure now is loaded back, but it's on the inside part of that back foot. And I talk about this almost every episode, and that's because this is so important. If you get stacked too much on top of this foot, your pressure's will be out of whack and they'll be hard to get back into the proper position to be able to use the ground from the ground up. So he gets, he gets back, he gets on the inside part of this back foot. Again, this, this lower part of this leg stays inside of that back foot. And now he's able to go forward. Okay. So we're going to take a look at that one more time, just in full speed. That's kind of the, uh, how I've been doing these, take a look full speed and then we'll slow it down. Good bat speed. Okay, really good T-spine mobility, meaning he really turns through the ball really well with his upper body. Um, so what I'm going to look at here is just, it's minor in my opinion, um, but look where his belt buckle starts. If you notice major leaguers, okay, their belt buckle will start here and then it'll actually get lower. Griffins gets up a little bit over this line and then back down. Okay, so if you were to picture uh, Griffin, you know, let's say throwing a punch, I use this analogy a lot with kids, if he was going to throw a punch, he would get back, he wouldn't go up and then forward and then throw the punch, he would literally just go down into the ground. Okay, so this is kind of what I want to highlight here with him. From here, I would like him to feel like that pressure and how he's going to go forward and get back to center is going to go forward and down into the ground. And that is going to be key for him. Okay. So he, he gets up and he kind of pushes up out of that really good position that he got into to get back. Okay. So he kind of loses leverage off the ground by pushing up a little bit. We want to actually gain some pressure into that back inside part of that back foot. So see how he goes up a little bit. Now that belt buckle is much higher. Okay. Well, not much higher, a few inches higher. Okay. Then he gets back down. Great job of getting back down. Okay. So that is pressure in the ground a little bit. His head is also going to move as a result of this. And I think the NCAA tournament was on at this point when I was doing this. And that's why there's a little stall in this video. But anyway, I got it back. And his path is tremendous with his hands, okay? So just getting back, looking at the path of his hands, what we're looking at here is the lower half is leading this thing. Front shoulder's still closed. The lower half is starting to uh, open up and kind of uncoil, and the, and the upper body stays back, stays closed. These are not things you necessarily want to chase as a player. Every player's body moves differently. Every player's... Uh, hip shoulder separation ability to separate the hips from the shoulders is different. So Griffin has really good hip shoulder separation, meaning he can open his hips up a bunch of degrees while his upper body and his front shoulder stays closed. That's all I mean by that. So everyone's different with that. So it's not necessarily something you want to chase or chase positions. You just want to let it unfold from the ground up. Um, and, and Griffin does a great job of doing that. And then what I do like to highlight too with players is like their, their hands, his hands do really do a great job of firing close to his body and getting out in front to deliver that barrel. And that is a sign of a short swing and a clean path and a direct path and a path that's going to create a, a long uh, path for the barrel to travel through the hitting zone out in front and finish through the baseball. He does a great job. This is a really good swing. He finishes and that, Look at this, look at this T-spine mobility, how much he can turn. Look at that. His upper body turns all the way through the ball. Such a long, high finish through the baseball is a great job. Um, he may, because he is so flexible and so mobile, 
the head, you just want to be conscious too of the head, just stand trying to keep that heads right in that hitting zone all the way through the contact, all the way through contact. Really like what I see from Griffin here is a tremendous job. Um, he's a, obviously an athlete, uh, very mobile, very loose, very fluid in his swing. It's a pretty swing, like a lot. You can tell this kid can hit and looking forward to uh, kind of continuing to watch him develop as he, as he moves along in his career. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.